I wanna be different, I wanna be changed Till all of me is gone And all that remains is a fire so bright The whole world can see That there's something different So come and be different In me And I don't wanna spend my life stuck in a pattern And I don't wanna gain this world but lose what matters And so I'm giving up everything because I wanna be different I wanna be changed to long me Hey guys, Wild Alaskan Homestead here My wife and I have been trying for Ah, uh, a few weeks to get somebody to come in and put in a road for us. Our neighbor uh, down the road helped us do this little section right here. His name is Brad. He's a pretty good neighbor. Had about an hour before he had to be home. Came by with his dozer on the way to his house. And made this part right here for us. Cleaned this part out for us. But over here where the car is at, uh, back around to the left and then around to the right, out to the main road, my wife and I rented a skid steer and did that part. So now today, we're going to come right through by where this snag is at. And I'm going to cut out enough room in here. Uh, start out with a weed eater. And we're going to go up through this way here and then around that snag. And there's a meadow. I don't know if you can see that birch tree through there. But there's a meadow right up in through there. And that's where we're going to try to get. So we can see Mount Iliamna. It's a volcano. And we can actually see the ocean if we get us uh, a loft put in a cabin back here. And that's what we're going to start off with and move our RV back here. We got a 37 foot Montana fifth wheel. But first, I got to get this to where I can drive on it and uh, get it cut out to where I can flatten it out with the truck and move all the stumps and debris in there. I'll show you the other part of the road out here later. Where the car is at. We've got it all flattened out. I packed it a couple nights ago with the truck after work. Just drove back and forth over it about 50 times and packed it down flat. It, it did look like this. I don't know if you can see all this, but this is lumpy and bumpy. And uh, I took a rake over there, raked out some of the, the big bumps out of it, the big dirt clods. Uh, we've got a hole over here. I hope I'm not moving the camera too fast for everybody. Got a big hole here where the bulldozer started sinking. And then one over there. So I got to kind of put that dirt back in there and fill that in. to Kind of level this out and make this all the driveway. But I'm going to get started on this. And uh, I'll put it on time lapse or have my wife put it on time lapse. I'm more of a chainsaw guy. My wife runs all the electronic computer stuff. And I don't even know how to run this cell phone hardly. Anyway, I'm going to get this video started and uh, show you guys what we're doing. And go from there. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm using a weed eater i got a steel weed eater here and uh i'm using a husk bar and a chainsaw to cut this out the trees that we're going to cut out in here we're just cutting out of the driveway so we can uh you know get our vehicles back and forth through here but we're going to actually trim them up we're going to mulch that and put mulch on our driveway instead of a gravel we're in uh down by anchor point alaska probably there's a lot of people that think we're crazy because they know how to build roads here, but we've got road fabric. We're going to use eight foot slabs from a sawmill down the road and lay them with the flat edge up first. And then we're going to put the uh, flip the other side over to where it's got the bumpy side up on top and the flat edge is touching the flat edge. And then we're going to fill that with wood chips, put our, our uh, road fabric on that, and then put more wood chips on top of that. So uh, the slabs will keep the truck from sinking and the car from sinking down where the tire tracks are and it'll give it a 8 foot flat surface to drive on instead of like a 12 to 14 inch surface. But if I can get this weed eater started, we're gonna, I'm going to get started and uh, see what I can get done. It is now 5.07 Alaska time.
put a pause on this video a minute. I got to get my safety glasses on and my earplugs. I'm always talking about safety, safety, and I don't have my glasses or earplugs in. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my eye protection on and my ear protection in. I've got this screen on my face anyway. I wasn't too worried about it, but safety first, right? All right, let's get started. tell you something but I forgot we have a black bear out here with a cub if you guys see her coming around me y'all start holler let me know I guess it's kind of hard for you guys to see what I'm doing if you can't really go with me but I got that, uh, I got that section. We did it back in through them trees there. It actually looks pretty good. Well, I've gotten done. Let's see if I can bring you guys up here. Oh, about fell down right there. Hope I didn't shake you around too much. I have to keep starting and stopping to go get gas, weed eater string, oil, take a break. Anchor Point, Alaska is like 70 to 72 degrees out here today. Hotter than I thought it would be out here. Anyway, I'm clearing off this for my driveway to extend my driveway. I'm going to take out these trees right here and uh, keep the posts out of them that I can. The smaller trees I'm going to throw off to the side and we're going to mulch, uh, get a, a shredder mulcher and put on our driveway. I'm trying to cut this grass low enough to cut the dead grass too to get this all off the driveway. See if I can get the chainsaw started, cut these trees out of here, and then I'll take you with me as we go uh, back up the hill, out there towards that, that snag up there. And there's one over here. So, uh, wish me luck. And like I said on the other video, we have a black bear, a uh, mama black bear with a baby cub back here somewhere. So, if you guys see her, let me know. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, for anybody that needs any pet mosquitoes, I can give you a jar full of them. Comment down below and uh, let me know if you'd like a jar of them.
excited about where I was going. Got to get some of this cleaned up, some more weed eating done. Got to get my other uh, weed eater. It has a saw blade on it, like a skill saw blade. I'll set this over here so we don't get a fire started. You don't want to get a fire started here in Alaska, especially to be the one starting it. I said it in one of my other videos, especially where there's a lot of grass, like underneath it here, there's nothing but just thick, thick, dry grass. Uh, basically, straw. A little bit of green growing on top of it. This stuff would burn crazy. Then you get all them snags that I'm cutting down in there, get those things to burning. This is like a big Roman candle sticking up in the air. You always want to make sure you stick around about a half hour after you're done cutting. Weed eating, no matter what you're doing. Make sure there wasn't a spark caused when you were out here doing your work. You could start something on fire, burn your property, a lot of other people's property. Just be careful. Always wear your hearing and your eye protection, your face mask if you need one. Because, uh, you got 10 fingers, you want to keep all in, but at least if you lose one, you got nine more. You only got two eyes and two ears. Once they're gone, they're gone. I'm going to continue weed eating back that way. And uh, I'll move you guys on this side so you can see what's going on. Sorry for all the woo woo with the camera there. This thing's probably looking right into the sun, isn't it? Well, not too bad. Anyway, I'll try to get it adjusted for you so you can see everything. I'm going to cut the alder out first. And then uh, take the weed eater down there and weed eat because the alders, especially the bottom of them, eats up the weed eater string. So it keeps on uh, tearing the string out of the weed eater. So wish me luck. Hope the mama bear doesn't come. I don't know if you can see this ground. I'll show you here in a minute. 
you could have something that's three foot tall walking over it and then all of a sudden drop down three feet. There's a lot of down stumps and logs and everything under this grass. There's also water under here too. So in some places, it makes it really hard to walk. But I'm gonna get this weed eater and clean up some of this grass over here now where there's grass at. So I can uh, make a clear spot to throw these trees so I can later on come up and limb them up and use them. I might trim that tree up right there, keep it. A couple small ones there. A couple over here that are pretty decent trees. I'm gonna probably limb that one up and keep it next to the driveway. Go about 10 foot and find one of them out of that bunch right there that's the best one. And I'm gonna cut all the others away from it so that uh, that one tree can grow and become a, a big daddy. We got about 80 acres of this stuff right here. A lot of this, where we're taking out trees, this whole place is gonna be planted in trees again. So we got a bunch of uh, redwood trees from California, Northern California, uh, through the mail. We're gonna plant those out here. We're gonna have a big orchard out here, uh, up here on the homestead, around it. We're gonna have an orchard out front and make a lake out front. We're gonna make a lake down below for the moose. And so we can duck and goose hunt on our own property. And then uh, we're gonna have orchard trees in different places all over. Uh, flowers planted on four-wheeler trails and stuff like that all over the property. So we might be taking down trees now, but we're gonna plant a lot, a lot. I'm gonna start weed eating this back up in here a little bit so I can throw these trees back here so I don't have to pull them out of the grass later on and cut that up. But mostly I wanna focus on uh, between these trees right here behind me and uh, that dead snag sticking up down there. There's a couple orange ribbons down there and we want the driveway to go through there to where those orange ropes are down below. You probably can't see them because they're very small. And then the driveway is going to go down a little ways and then up to a meadow up there. That's also a meadow right there. We're going to do what's called silvo pasture. We're going to have uh, cut this and mow this down eventually for pasture for our animals but we're also going to leave trees scattered out in there for we're going to trim all the trees up i'm six foot tall so i like the tree limbs to be no lower than six and a half feet up in the air you can see how kind of scrubby it is right now and then as our videos keep on going uh you can see the progress that we're making and getting some of these big clusters of 200, 200 trees in a cluster we're gonna start narrowing them down to the, the best looking ones and cut the other ones out to either mulch or use posts out of, but everything will be used on our property, I promise. Anyway, I'm gonna get the weed eater started, a little bit more of this done, and I'm gonna clear some of this out of here so I can see what I've got weed eated, and then I'm gonna continue down between the tall snag and the little snag on the ground over there. I guess you got cold on me. mama bear yet I would call her the homestead honey but Billy's got that covered Billy the permacat pasture pimp if you guys ever see his channel or not but he's a lot of information to go to too he's got some big words and I can't pronounce most of them but he's a funny guy he's a pretty good guy him and family he's trusty old strikers out here with me he hurt his dew claw a couple days ago, ripped it open, so he's kind of on the men's, but he likes coming out here to make sure Mama Bear ain't nowhere out here either. He uh, lets us know. He can hear stuff and smell stuff from in the house. He's like his mama and his daddy. He's got a good nose on him. You got right, buddy. <laughs> I'll have, have blood here in a minute.
thought I'd just give you a little rundown of what I've done. Sorry if I'm hollering. I got earplugs in my ears, but uh, remember where I was earlier? I was way, way, way up there. Like, there's the tree. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that tree right there is the one that uh, I shaved the branches off up by where the bulldozer was at. You can see the bulldozer pile. It's right there. But I'm all the way down this hill. Here's the trees here. We had the ribbons tied in. I have the ribbons tied right here in this big, huge tree. Well, look, I weed eated underneath of it all over. I'm all the way around it. There's raspberries right here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to take out some of these raspberries right here. But there's the stick. Remember, we wanted to go right up that way up there. So uh i'm headed that way but i just wanted you to see this right here this is a big huge beautiful tree and i will sorry i will show you this when i'm done this oh let me slow down this is the tree where the moose kept breaking the line that goes down there i don't know if you can see this one right here but this one comes to this tree right here I'm going to turn around now. I got this part cleaned out right here. This is a group of raspberries. Some of these are raspberries right here. And there's some raspberries right in there. Those are going to have to go for sure. I might be able to keep some of these over here. But this stump and everything's got to go because our line, if you can see it, goes right up there into those trees right there. So our road's going to go right through here, between these crappy little trees right here. Sorry, I'm making it all fuzzy and blurry. But look, this is that big old tree I was telling you about. Right on the curb, there's a stump there that prob probably can stay. But I trimmed this tree up. Look at this thing. This thing's a beast. So I'm going to keep it there. It's really pretty. And this is the upper part this string here is the upper part of the other road through there man this camera through the other road right through here is where we're going to come like i said this is where the other line was right here but i got i'm trying to watch where i'm going so forgive me if this is shaky but i got all the way down here from way up there i don't know if you can See that dirt pile up there? Right there. But that's where the dozer pile was. So I'm probably, oh, 150, 200 feet down here. Right around this curve. I'm gonna go up there. Our meadow sits up there on top of that. So I probably got uh, 200 feet left to go to get up there but i just wanted to show you this beautiful tree right here anyway there's a a little bit more stuff will have to be cut out of here to make this curve right but i just wanted to show you what i got done it's about ooh 17 18 feet wide right here probably if i had to guess anyway i'm gonna get this chainsaw and i'm coming to the house but look at that frank i made this for you too so there's a lot of crap to dig out in here as you can see it goes up to two feet and then drops down in past that hole there's about two to three feet down and you got this big stump here that big stump there you can see the indention where these things drop down it's just crazy you'll step up three feet and then go down in a hole three and a half feet on the other side of it i guess it's where they push the uh, cut the trees out and they didn't push the stumps out or anything so there's big old craters there I'm pretty happy of what I got done I started at 5 tonight and it is sorry about the camera it is 9.30 so 4.5 hours and that was a lot of crap to do Wild Alaskan Homestead signing off for the night talk to you guys later